Max Answers, Anthony Rose. It is Tuesday, so it is Two Step in Tuesday. So we got something really, really cool today to teach you guys. It's going to require her to spin a lot. Okay, wow. now we've heard this called around the world, but I think that's really, really, I don't know what it's called. So <laughs> today we're just going to call it Anthony's Cool Ass Spinny Thing. Okay, so Anthony's Cool Ass Spinny Thing is what we're doing. So stick around. Dancers, we wanted to take a minute and celebrate with you guys because on Saturday we hit 10,000 subscribers. Do your happy dance, Anthony. <laughs> you guys want to learn that? We'll teach it to you. But seriously, thank you guys so, so much. We started this whole YouTube thing in January, so it's been eight months. We have 10,000 subscribers. We're shocked. We love it. But seriously, thank you guys for anyone that's left a kind comment has just been supportive, encouraging. We are so grateful. We talk about you guys all the time and we love doing this. But if you're not part of the 10,000 subscribers, there is a subscribe button right down here and we would love if you would join us and let's get into Anthony's cool ass pattern. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna demonstrate this a couple times and then we're gonna break it down, okay? So we're gonna start in a basic promenade position, just kind of do a basic, and then we're gonna do the around the world or otherwise known as Anthony's cool ass spinny thing. We're gonna do that a couple times and then we're just gonna send her back out into a basic. We'll show you that again from this angle and then we'll kind of break it down. So we have leader footwork, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow, slow. All right, guys, so in case you haven't guessed, this is going to require her to spin a lot. No. Thus, the nature of two-step. But if you have trouble with these spins, or ladies, if, if you have trouble spinning a lot, there is a video here that breaks down the different types of turns because we're going to be using in this um, pattern, we're going to be using um, pivot turns, and we're also going to be using chenets. Okay, so we're going to show you this one piece at a time. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is that I have a different rhythm than Rose has. My rhythm is just going to be that straight, quick, quick, slow, slow. Hers is just a whole bunch of quick. So if you watch her footwork, she is just spinning, like a lot. Not just spinning. Lots. Hard work, it's right. spinning. So she's gonna be going quick, quick, slow, slow. But if you watch her footwork, she's gonna be going quick, 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 and quick, quick, slow, slow. Okay, so that is a lot of turns for her. I don't want to count it, but you can probably rewind this and figure it out how many times. This is a bunch, okay? So what he's going to be doing is quick, quick, slow, slow. So when he does that hand over top, then there's going to be a hand change behind his back, and he's just going to be doing straight, quick, quick, slow, slow. So let me show you how the hand, how the hand changes work first. All right, so as we go to lead this first turn, I'm just basically leading her for a basic left inside turn. Now, as I'm doing that, I'm going to now bring the left hand down and then I'm gonna catch it. When it reaches the bottom, I'm gonna be catching that hand with my right hand all the way at the bottom. And then with my right hand, I'm gonna be bringing that hand over her head and then bringing it back down again. Once it reaches this downward position, I hand the hand back off again and then raise the left hand. So the left hand comes over top and then I'm gonna be bringing the hand down and then I'm gonna be catching it with my right hand over top, back down again to catch it with the left hand and then I bring it back over her head to finish those turns. All right, so what I didn't talk about here was how, what the feet are doing. So as she's turning, we're just simply walking for quick, quick. Now the hand's starting to come down and we're gonna do a chenet turn. So we're gonna be turning to the left. This is slow and we're gonna bring the feet together for slow. We're gonna exchange the weight onto the right foot so that we can go quick, quick, slow, slow, quick. All right, so it's really important that the feet are actually doing chenets and, rather than pivots. All right, so let's take a look at how the hands and the feet work together. So again, we're just walking her forward for quick, quick as I lead her for that turn. I'm bringing the hand down, and now as I catch it with the other hand, my feet are gonna turn, or they're kind of coming together as I turn to my left, and then I switch the hands and I walk, walk, bring the hand down for walk, bring the feet together, and quick, quick, slow, slow. Okay, so I just want to talk to the followers for a second because even though we're just turning, it's just all quick. There's a key element here that's super duper important. And we're actually going to make a whole video on this, but that is your arms. And when we're turning, we want to have a certain amount of elasticity in our arms. A lot of the times when you're turning and you're turning fast, 
it's a natural instinct to and become really, really tight in that arm and it makes you feel like a rock, okay? So when you're turning, and it's a fine balance, we're gonna make a whole video on this, but when you're learning this pattern, just make sure that you're keeping a good amount of elasticity so your, your leader can move you through that movement. All right, one thing that's really important here is that we manage the distance between each other. And you know who's responsible for that? That's gonna be the leader. It is his job to stay with her. Like her job is just to go here. Now, we've said this in a lot of videos before, there's two places you can be. You can be in a line this way or you can kind of be side to side. But if you look at the position that Rose and I take, she's on the outside, I'm on the inside, but I'm also slightly behind her. Now, as she's turning, I need to keep myself in that position in relation to her and not let her get too far away and I really don't want to like pass her because it's just not going to work out that way. So as she's turning, if she's kind of a, a, you know, she's like a car on cruise control, she's kind of moving at the same miles per hour, I've got to position myself there. So if you watch this the entire time, I'm not passing her, I'm trying not to let her get too far in front of me, but I'm keeping my body in relation to her right there that entire time until we go to the end and we take up this alignment. So another thing on this is with her footwork, she's gonna be constantly turning. This is a lot of, and we can do this as many times as we want leaders, but he's, you know, he's only turning one time, and that's why I like two-step, we don't turn <laughs> nearly as much. But what she is doing here, she's just turning. Now she should be spotting forward, which means she should be looking in the direction of the movement as she does that because he's behind her, she needs to be looking where she's going. She's more likely to turn a straight line and she's more likely to not get so dizzy yes. if she's spawning. Some people found that that works. Around. All right, so just look where you're going whenever you're doing that. Leaders, keep yourself in position with her as she turns. You're doing, leaders, you're doing quick, quick, slow, slow through that entire process. She's just doing a whole bunch of quicks. Now, we're gonna switch from this alignment to this alignment at the end. So the leaders, again, are the ones that have to change that alignment. So if I'm keeping my position in relation to her here, after I've done this a couple times, I'm keeping myself here. And as I finish on that last one, I'm slowing down to let her pass. So that's really important. The leaders are the ones that are navigating, keeping himself where he needs to be in relation to her. One more topic on this, and I wanna show you this close up. All right, so what we're talking about now is the hand. So I've got my middle two fingers kind of extended. This is, think of like Spider-Man, or I'm going to like a rock concert, or whatever. She creates kind of a cup with her hand, and I put my pen in her cup. Now, as she's turning, I'm keeping those middle two fingers in that cup that she creates until I bring it down. Now, I'm catching, my, with my right hand, I'm catching on the outside of her hand, not the inside. I'm catching on the outside of her hand using my middle two fingers again to bring over and then when I catch it again, it's gonna be in that same spot, all right? So I'm just taking those middle two fingers into that spot on the outside of her hands. Now, the important thing here is that we don't hold hands. We have no reason to have thumbs. We're not gonna hold, take, grab, squeeze, or pinch each other. We're just using the middle two fingers and she creates a cup. All right, so let's do a wrap up. Let's put the whole thing together, all right? So we're gonna start in a promenade position. We walk her forward for that basic quick, quick, slow, slow. And keep in mind, I'm using the middle two fingers. I'm walking alongside of her as I lead her for that inside turn for quick, quick. I bring the hand down for slow. I catch the hand on the outside, bringing the feet together for that Shanae turn. I switch behind my back, going to the outside of her hand again. I'm keeping that distance, bringing the hand down over top. And now I let her pass to get into this alignment, okay? So now we've done that two times in this video. You could do it once, you could do it 87. I hope you don't do it 87 times, but you could do that as many times as you want. Followers, you know how many times you get to do that? As many times as he leads you to do that. That's kind of the rule, that's why. I like being a leader, but thank you guys so much for watching and thank we'll see you guys you. next time. If there's anything you guys would like to see in this channel, we've actually gotten some pretty good recommendations of things and actually produce videos and we reply to every comment. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. on Saturday we hit 10,000 subscribers. Do your happy dance, Anthony. Okay. <laughs> subscribers, do your happy dance, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs>
That's great. Fers, do your happy dance, Anthony. Do your happy dance, Anthony.